Welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna pop you there. Happy New Year to you. I hope you had a lovely Christmas break and New Year, however you celebrate it, and you are feeling good for the year ahead. I thought I would do a home vlog today. I haven't done a home vlog or a catch up vlog like this since last year. So we're gonna be doing lots today. Today is jam packed. I've got a lot to fit in before the school run. And I thought I would bring you along for the day. I am yet actually to want to uh, dry my hair, just chucked it up. So I need to do that first and foremost. It's absolutely freezing outside. Uh, I've got to do a bit of a wardrobe declutter, but not a full one, because I am doing a decluttering series on my channel at the moment. Uh, I need to go to HomeSense because we had some breakages over Christmas and I want to replace them and to get some vouchers for Christmas as well so I'll be spending those uh, I need to go and collect a vintage parcel I need to generally like just reset the house ready for the year ahead I'm going to be talking to you about some healthy habits that have changed over the last month or two and some actually intermittent fasting my fast is about to end it's 20 past 11 so I'll go and um, get some food for that uh, some just sort of healthy things that I'm doing this year to be a bit kinder to my body it turned 40 last month or November uh, so yeah that's like really weighing on my mind about sort of aging and being good to my body um, so yeah loads to do today the video is really kindly sponsored by HelloFresh as you may well know we have been a customer loyal customer for years and we actually absolutely love them so I'm really pleased that they are sponsoring this video I'll be sharing more details further into the video but everything is for you in the description if you'd like to get a really really chunky discount off of your HelloFresh box but yeah lots to get on with I'm gonna dry my hair first and then we will get into the day so get cozy get comfy and let's get into the video So I have not done my, oh, I don't know if that's gonna work to put you there. I've let my hair dry naturally and it's gone a little bit wayward, we could say. So I'm just gonna brush it through with my hot brush. Um, it's a little bit knotty actually, I need to find a brush. Uh, I was gonna do an entire sort of get ready with me or not really get ready with me, maybe like a morning routine, but I haven't done one of those for absolute years. So I'm a bit like imposter syndrome. Would you even wanna see that? I have got new skincare regime, which I've been using for a couple of months and new makeup and like a five minute face. Ooh, we are ready to go. Uh, so yeah, if you want that, just let me know in the comments, but I never know if that's the sort of thing you want to see. Uh, but I love watching them because I'm like, how can I make my morning routine s s less time consuming and more slick and just, so yeah, I think I've sort of like got it nailed. Uh, but yes, I'm just gonna, I probably need to find a hairbrush before I do this. I leave my hair to dry naturally, it goes really frizzy. And I got this as a gift a while ago and I never really use it. It's like the GHD, I think it's called Sleek Talker. So I'm gonna put it through the ends, but I don't wanna make it my hair greasy, which I sort of have done there, unless it's still wet. Um, before I put on the hot brush, just to sort of like tame it a little bit. Just to almost give it a bit of <laughs> smoothness, I think is what the word I'm looking for. Did anybody get snow last night? What is the date today? Um, I never know how to find it on here. Oh, the 9th of January. Did anyone get snow? We had like a flurry and the children were so excited. And then it came to nothing. It was meant to be something like nine, 60% um, chance or 80% chance of, of snow. We live in the south of England and we got like literally a dusting and that was it. So I don't know if that's it for the year or if maybe hopefully we'll get a bit more further into the year. We usually get it in March, like really, really late. We had one day last year of snow. Oh yeah, last year and that was in March. So yeah, I don't hold up loads of hope. It's almost like when we're ready for winter to be over, like last little bit of winter coming your way. I can link this below if you're interested, just because I always get asked about it, but it just, like you see how it's all like a bit bumpy there. It just sort of goes through it and sleeks it down, like smooths it out. I tell you what we could actually do today. I need to find an outfit for an event I'm going to on Saturday with Nicole Scherzinger. And it's like a really weird time because we get there at 3.30, but it's, sort of dress to impress nightwear sort of thing, which is a really weird time frame because to be out in a ball gown at 3.30 in the afternoon is a bit of a weird concept to me. So yeah, we have to find something for that in my wardrobe, which the wardrobe is, it is stressing me out because you know when there's just no space to put anything, I've even got my washing to put away, I don't know where it's gonna go. So yeah, 
we need to sort that out and if you are into decluttering i do have my whole decluttering series happening at the moment which is like the bite-sized things that just really are getting on top of you but actually if you do them like it'll probably take you less than an hour but because you are putting it off it takes you longer and the whole thing of this year is like eat the frog get it done first no procrastination just do the task and i keep trying to tell my children that and obviously i have to do the same if i'm going to teach my children to do it so yes we're going to be doing that um and just decluttering what i can because it's not even like to get rid of anything it's just more to like put away the summer stuff and then at least i'll have some space for the winter stuff in my wardrobe uh, i'm really being mindful with what i spend this month as well so i don't know if i want to buy something new uh so yeah let's shop the wardrobe for that but it is now 20 to 12 i need to break my fast let's go and get some food Is that for tomorrow? We've packed her I've in the office to tomorrow, so we've packed his lunch up and then his lunch for today. Hello Fresh has arrived. And Stu, you don't actually know what I ordered, so it's a surprise for you. It is, it is. As I said, we are trying to be a bit more healthy and just whole foods and cook from scratch. Stu, what I love about Hello Fresh, Stu is like such a chef these days because, let me show you what these instructions are like. They're so easy to follow. Like you just literally follow one by one, and I mean, you can attest to that, can't you? Yeah, it, I was. I didn't really used to. He never cook. used to. Ever since I've been doing this, I am pretty much the chef of the house. So. Basically, we love. There's no waste, so you don't have to worry about making sure you've got like all the ingredients from the supermarket. And it actually reduces the amount of times we go to the supermarket, doesn't it? Because we know it's just being delivered. So yeah. just really super convenient, really easy to follow along. And my absolute favorite thing when they're fresh is that they come in these bags, you know exactly what it is you need. So for example, this card is number 14, just so happens that one's number 14. And everything you need for it, apart from the cold stuff, which goes straight into the fridge, is in this bag. So it's super, super easy. That's one of my favorite things about HelloFresh and yeah we've gone for something a little bit more healthy but quick. I love the quick recipes especially as a family. Oh I'm really blown out and it's really sunny. The sun is so nice. The quick recipes they do family ones which we love, they do bistro ones. I've even gone for a Saturday night steak night one as well this week as a treat. So we've got the speedy Cajun style pork rice bowl. And then the stir fried honey sesame beef noodles, which is a family one, and it's only 25 to 35 uh, to 30 minutes. That one's really nice. We've had that before. And then steak night, like I said, for a special one on Saturday night. I'm sure you are well aware of HelloFresh now. We've spoken about them quite a few times here on this channel, but if you are new and you want to check them out and try something new for 2024, I have a really good discount for you, which is 60% off your first box and then 25% off for the next two months and you get some free gifts as well. I will leave all the information for you down in the description bar for how to claim the offer uh, and also a QR code here on the screen if you are watching on a desktop or on your TV or something, um, then you can just take a photo of that and it will take you through to the discount on the website. So yes, let me know if you also love HelloFresh. Like I said, we are customers, have been for years, and we just love it. So I'm gonna pop all this away and then I'm gonna start uh, my breakfast, which, well, sort of lunch, is almost 12 now, um, and break my fast. Look ahead, the sea is calm and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. For better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. I'm actually just gonna go for a little bit of a sort of breakfast looking breaking my fast. Normally I have maybe more of a lunch style first meal, but we're short on time. 
And this one, I'm just really trying to get my protein up at the moment because I realise that I have barely anything that I'm meant to be having in protein. This is about seven or eight grams of protein, fuel granola. Let's just get that. Do we get that Aldi? We did find it in Costco actually, but I think this is maybe like Asda or something, or one of the North Asda, yeah, you other Asda, supermarkets. Asda, Sainsbury's, yeah, just not in Aldi and Aldi. Uh And then this, someone recommended this to me on Instagram, which by the way, if you don't follow me, Lara Joanna, Lara Joanna Jarvis, which is on every platform, uh, is really, I don't know what's in it because there's no fat, there's no carb, there's only natural sugars, which is three grams, 10 grams of protein, no salt, like no saturated fats, uh, and yeah, I mean, it says it's just made only with milk and yogurt cultures, high in protein, source of calcium, gluten-free, preservative and additive free. So yeah, that's the Fahe yogurt. And then I've got some brown linseeds and then I just bought this little mix of sort of seeds and berries and goji berries. And so yeah, that is almost 20 grams of protein, which is a really good start. And what I try to do as well is have as little or have as much protein as possible in my first meal because that keeps me fuller for longer. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have this. Stu's made me a cup of tea. And then I need to think about where I'm going to go next because I need to get to Home Sense uh, before I get the children and then I can get my winter pass on the way back. So I could probably leave my decluttering of my wardrobe and the other house reset stuff until after Home Sense. So let me eat this and then we'll go there. <laughs> I'm so full now. Oh, rogue Christmas decoration. <laughs> you know, like when you put the decks away, there's always a few things that you leave behind. We actually have just taken down all the outside stuff and there were so many bits that we missed on the first like loop round of the inside decorations that we now have loads more to put away. But yeah, it's just so bare. Once you take it all down, isn't it? It feels like really, really empty, even though this was the space initially. We've still got some presents that need to be given out. Um, but yeah, I just want to get the place back to a bit of order. I've got loads of washing to put away. In fact, I've got really itchy nose, pleasant surprise. I was going to do the washing, but I'm going to leave that until I get back. But I do have to go to the library. I forgot about that because I've got to take some books back. But I thought I'd show you the books that I've been reading recently and the ones I'd recommend. These are the ones, oh no, that one actually she gave to me. She decommissioned that because she said it was dirty. And I was like, don't let that go to waste. I will have that if you don't mind. I get on really well with my library and she's really lovely. They have a really similar taste in books as well. So these are the books that we've borrowed, a couple for the children. Uh, that was for George, that one was for Stu. That one was George as well because Henry got loads of books for Christmas. And then I borrowed this and I am, that far in and i just i don't know i'm struggling with it i don't know whether to send it back and not bother reading it i'm like quite far in i'm just not really that bothered about what happens to the people so it's meant to be yeah it's a, it's a bestseller but not loving it but i read that really loved that really really love that and then this one i read Stu got me for christmas and i read it in like three days it's so good really love it and love the whole series this one really touched on lots of sensitive subjects like um, dementia and death and it was just really beautifully written. Uh, so that was really good and now I'm reading this which uh, straight in, like it's gone straight into the, the making you sort of be a page turner. So yeah, really loving that. So, and lots of hardbacks. Oh and Stu got me this as well for Christmas and my mum for book. Uh, so yeah, these, that can stay. I'm going to send that back because I've got lots of other books that I can get on with and I'm just not really into it. So yeah, let me know if you want, if you have read it though and you loved it and maybe I should keep it <laughs> have to get it back out again. So yeah, those need to go back to the library and I don't think I'm going to pick any new ones up, maybe for the children uh, because um, I've got a lot to read at the moment. He's, got his, he's so organised, this guy. This is for work tomorrow. He's done his pet lunch for tomorrow. Um, he, yeah, he's just a really organised person, which is good because it does kind of rub off on me, but I'm naturally not an organised person. I'm very disorganised, in fact, so it's quite good that he rubs off on me in that way. Uh, but yeah, he's just so, like, I don't know, I just feel so content and happy and lucky and grateful and thankful. We were, I don't know if it's like a 40 thing, like I've turned 40 and I'm just really reflective and thinking about a lot of things. And, do we can, 
and my pampas grass there, it goes everywhere. And yeah, I'm just feeling really like aware of time and how little we have and how precious it is and my gratitude of like life in general. Like this is quite deep for this, for this video, but I just like every day I think this house is not our forever home for certain reasons, but I thank this house for being ours and you know, the journey we went through to get it was a tough one and I'm just so grateful, like this is life. You know, this is the life that we've been given. We've made what we've made from it. We are such a wonderful partnership and so lucky to have healthy children. And I'm just feeling like all the feels and I don't know if that's like a faulty thing or just a general life thing. I don't know. I think the more grateful you are for the little things, even if life is not good in general, like you may be in debt, you may well be worrying about money or you may well not have a family or you may well not have like friends or something like big, there are little things in the in the day, the life that you can be grateful for. And it just makes you much more grateful for the bigger things or like in general, the bigger picture. So yeah, anyway, well, let's go to town. I'm gonna be freezing, got to take my library books back, got to find a present for my friend, got to go to HomeSense, got to get my vendor parcel, got to get the children. We're gonna be rushing to do this. Hopefully I'm gonna be warm enough in this. I got my new scarf that my friends got me. It's got my initials on it. Um, my old hat very old jacket which is actually from TK Maxx and it is so comfortable and so warm um jeans as we saw earlier and my Uniqlo bag which fits everything in it got my library books got my vouchers which is a one for all gift card so it's like new look boots H&M Primark and I'm pretty sure home sense I saw the other day um got something to take back to H&M and my library books let's go sorry for the angle and the judderiness. It's absolutely freezing out here. And uh, I can't keep taking my glove off to film. So I'm not gonna do it for long. I can barely hold my phone. I've had my glove off for a minute and it's freezing. You always go for this one, which is the popular titles, which has just come off Fastback. Cause the Fastback's a two week loan. And these ones are like, were on Fastback, but they are maybe a bit older. So I'm gonna read that. I think Stu wants me to get this for him. He's read all of hers. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna have a quick look around and see what there is. That's those all taken back and I did resist the urge to buy or to rent a new one because I thought I've only just started my book. So I'll come back in a couple of weeks rather than get a fine for it being laid back. Although you can renew it online, it's pretty easy. But yeah, now I'm gonna do H&M. How do people actually wear these? Love the candles in here. There's always a good sale on those. Good for the present cupboard. Good pots in here for house plants, but I don't really have, I'm not really able to take any home, but I will remember this because I do need to repot a couple of pots, plants in my house. I really like this one. How much is that? That's really inexpensive. I love that. Some Christmassy bits in here in the sale. Can't seem to find what I'm looking for, which is a kitchen towel sort of holder. A heavy duty one. I bought our last one from in here. Can't seem to see one. Might be down the other end because I've moved everything round in here. Go down there. There they are. Okay, which one to go for? Kitchen's obviously quite a lot of dark blue and black. Not really any. Is there pine? I don't think there's pine. That's quite cute though, isn't it? I like that. This is going to be so heavy to walk back with. I'm gonna look here for some more paintings for the lounge because that is just a never ending task to keep adding to that. Oh, hi. <laughs> and then also some knobs for a cupboard that I wanna transform. Just keep an eye out for a video coming soon on that one. I've always got quite a good selection in here. I'm all sorted. That was an hour's worth of shopping around. I literally did the library, H&M, bought an outfit for um, a weekend away that I'm doing with my best friend for her 40th in the sale, it's like £11, bargain. And then I did the library books, did um, home sense, couldn't find my friend this jewelry that I wanted, uh, but I did find a kitchen roll holder. Back now, so I'd show you this top. Let me show you where it's so sunny. Oh my gosh, and also my new, whatever that's called, kitchen roll dispenser. Let's give it some action, does it go in one? into but we'll take that love that it goes nicely with the blue of the kitchen i thought and it's a cute little print that was 9.99 which i got with my voucher i also got these which i'm going to up 
cycle the cabinet in the playroom where it's you know the pink one that I did oh gosh uh, the pink one that I painted ages ago, um, it's in the playroom, which is this dark green, and I'm going to paint the top of it green, the main bit of it a uh, creamy sort of stone colour, and then those, so I thought that would make a nice little video if you want to watch that, and I thought I'd show you my top, Let's see if I can balance you on the kitchen roll without it falling, is it going to fall? I really need a new camera, but it's so expensive, um, so this is the top, it was £11, um, it's pretty see-through, but I'm going to wear it with like a really big bralette sort of thing and a skirt that comes up to here So really like it's not really loads on show, uh, but I thought yeah, I've got a leather Well faux leather um, Midi skirt, so I thought that might be quite nice for a little weekend away We're going to somewhere in Dorset just for two nights with eight of us and my eight like girlfriends uh, and we're all 40 in the same year. Well, apart from one, actually. One lucky girl who's younger than us, who's next year. Uh, and yeah, it's like my best friends from probably 20 years. And we all had a baby in the same year, which was super special. They are all now nine this year. So George will be nine in May. Um, so yeah, we're going away for that, which will be lovely. So I thought I'd just buy, I don't want to spend too much. And I use my voucher in there as well. So a free bit of shopping. And also I never really make time to go shopping or like go out especially on a working day because i like to maximize my time but i'm trying to do more fun things this year i'm trying to like incorporate a bit more enjoyment and fun and say yes to things and not work like get a better work-life balance basically so and it only took an hour so i feel good for that and now I have 10 minutes and then I'm going to be leaving to get the children. Let me show you my plants. Oh, because actually, let me show you the one that's a disaster. Poor prayer plant. I just think, is it time to give up on you? But I don't want to because I had you from a baby and I nurtured you. And i tell you what it was. When we moved in here, I put him there and he loved it. Loved, loved, loved. But then I got this record player for Stuart for Father's Day, like last year, I think. And since then we moved it and he's not been happy ever since. Now, the only thing that gives me a bit of hope is that that's a new leaf since I planted. Do you remember the other day I showed you my cuttings that I did? Um, that's a new leaf as well. So is it going to take, I mean, they're obviously dying. That one looks okay. But these, I mean, I mean, come on. So yeah, I don't know what to do guys, but you're always really good at this. Tell me how I can bring him back to life. Cause he can't live there anymore cause of that. Ah, uh, this guy has like, loved his new transition into this pot. I repotted that a little while ago, if you remember. And he's just loving life. He's huge since I moved him. And this one actually looks like he needs a little bit of water. But I'm trailing that one down. So that's what I mean about the pots in Home Sense. I want to put that one in a new pot because it's it's going to be pot bound. It's such a big plant for that tiny little plot, pot. And then these are cuttings. All of these are cuttings, actually. My lamp that I have. Um, fluff from my, from my slipper that I took off. Um, these are all cuttings doing so well. These ones not as well, but that's fine because I don't actually want them ginormous because this one there is uh, the original plant and it's just absolutely ginormous. But yeah, I'm such a proud plant mum. I'm aware that I have not done my uh, intentions goal setting video for 2024 yet and we are week one of January done. But is it too late now? Would you be interested? I don't know if that's still something you want to see. Uh, but I did do an ins and outs video of like all the things I want to bring into my life, the things that aren't serving me that I want to get rid of. And a lot of that was like tying into last year's slow living practices and like wanting to just like sort of appreciate the little things a lot more. And it has really been life changing because I just sort of learned to slow down quite a little bit a bit more and appreciate the moment and just not rush 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 because i am quite a spontaneous person and quite a quick person like i want to be doing stuff all the time and never have any downtime uh but yeah little things like that have really helped me shift my mindset like being grateful for the moment the slow moments you know like my coffee in the morning although i've been trying not to do that too much because it does spike your um or cortisol and that's like your flight fight or flight hormone and that's not so good for women but yeah I've just been drinking lots of fruit teas I got my fruit tea um up what do you call it restock day yesterday so I popped in the pucker ones were not in the sale so I didn't buy those which is a shame because they are 
some of my favorites. Uh, but I bought, let me show you, the new ones I got yesterday. Peace for the evening. Uh, sleep for the evening. Oh, this one's really nice actually. I might have one of those now. Focus and digest, which I love ginger. I haven't actually opened those ones yet. So those uh, are added. My, I really, I just finished it, but I really love the Huckety Chai Vanilla, Vanilla Chai one. Those are almost done as well. Uh, and it's just really good, like if I'm trying not to drink coffee or like when I'm fasting, I can't have anything with milk. So in the evenings I can't have proper tea or in the mornings before I've broken my fast. So I just have one of those and it's really nice. Just gonna have an apple with some peanut butter, which is elite level snack, let me tell you. And these are the Royal Gala ones I picked up yesterday. So tasty. Um, I'm gonna chop that up and put that with some, this is what I'm putting on by the way guys, not very stable because there's not loads of it left. Uh, and I put some peanut butter with it and it's so tasty and it's like a good protein based snack with fiber as well. Uh, and this one is from Aldi. It's a bit like the Whole Earth one. It's probably not as good, but it's only peanuts. So there's no palm oil in it. Uh, in fact, it's probably just as good as the Whole Earth one. Who knows? But the ingredients I can see is literally just peanuts. So yeah, let's make that, that little snack. And then it will be time to go and get the children. Actually, I've only got 10 minutes. So get the children and then I'll come back and then we'll look at the wardrobe declutter. just need to edit tonight's reel and TikTok, so I need to get on with that now. So I will say by now, I'm gonna have my snack while I edit, and then I'll check in after the school run when it will probably be dark because it's getting dark so early, but it's really sunny at the moment. In fact, should I take the children to the park? Anyway, I'll check back in. George and I, we went to see my mum, and I took her some books that, like the ones that I showed you I'd read, um, uh, cause I had a bit of time in between getting George and Henry, so I did that. And then I uh, picked up Henry's vintage parcel. Well, I say Henry's, most of it I think is Henry's. I can't remember, I ordered it ages ago. It took ages to get here. And um, now we're back home. So I've just had, I got, had some food at my mum's as well. I had like a chicken wrap sort of thing. I just got home and had a rice cake. And now I'm back in the room. <sighs> Look at this. Now I almost feel like this is an entire video, isn't it? Am I gonna be able to get this done? What I might do, mm. I'm gonna do five, I'm gonna do I'm going to do more than five items, less than ten items, try and get it done, do it really quickly, and then I'll have an actual declutter with me video for the wardrobe, but I don't want this to take over too much of the video because I'm conscious we've probably been chatting for a while, but there's some things in here, like summer shirt, that I don't need at the moment in this wardrobe, and it's meaning there's no space for my actual clothes. <laughs> is a good chunk of things on this chair. It's so yellow in here, let me put this light on, it's gonna go really bright. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, so some things, I'm, I think what I'm gonna do is just put the, I mean that is a Halloween jumper that I'll literally only wear once every year. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna put all this in a bag into our loft pile, because as I said, we still have to put away quite a few of the Christmas decorations. I'm just gonna put all of this in a bag for the loft and have it as accessible because it's all summer stuff really. And unless, to be fair, I do really want to go away in Easter. Easter is when I wanna go away, but if I go away any sooner, then I may wanna need to get these down, but that's fine. I can go and get them down for the loft. But it's just some bits and bobs I'm just not gonna wear this side of summer. And I love putting things in the loft because it just means that when you get them back down, you feel like you've got, like you've been shopping, but you have not been shopping. You have not spent any money. You just have a nice new wardrobe. I keep that one out actually. Um, 
and yeah it's just a really good way of saving money and it's almost like you're that need to go shopping is sort of fulfilled because you can yeah feel like you've bought something when actually you have just got it from the loft this is a bit of a statement piece this is from vintage as well forever unique it's like a two-piece with those trousers bit of a statement but that would be good on like a i really want to do another cruise this year i'd love to do the mediterranean i just love cruising and the fact that you can see so many places in one trip is so nice so yeah i'm not sure what to do have you got any holiday plans let me know what you guys are doing this year i'm just so aware like i said i know travel is not for everybody and obviously it's expensive and it's not on everyone's budget and that's absolutely like fine you do you sort of thing but i've always just been such a fan of travel and i just love it so much that i always like to have something to look forward to we are doing a road trip in in, in july um july we're gonna go to france we're gonna go to disneyland paris beforehand which we've never been to so i'm really looking forward to that show the boys that because they have all of the marvel stuff and i think they will absolutely love it um yeah, so we have got that to do in July, which is really exciting. We're doing a road trip. We've never done one of... Oh, I've driven to France a few times, actually, but not, like, all the way... Actually, no, I've driven to Paris twice. So maybe, no, it would be... It's really easy to drive. In fact, most European countries are easy to drive. Um, the UK is a little bit tricky with our roundabouts, uh, if you're not used to them. Right, OK. I'm going to take this off because I don't need a scarf on. So... Oh! It's still absolutely freezing out there, by the way. So I've got this big pile of lovely summer things that I'm going to put in the loft, and then when I when it gets a bit warmer, I'll bring it all down, and it'll feel like I've been shopping. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, the new top looks horrendous, so I won't be keeping it. I don't feel comfortable in it at all. Uh, it's not how I had it in my head. It's definitely not how I had it in my head, uh, and. It's very booby, but I would have like a crop top, but I just think it's too cropped to then wear the skirt and it not be like super revealing. So back to the drawing board on that matter. <laughs> to be fair, we are having, like the girls weekend away, we are basically gonna be in pajamas most of the time, but we're having one night where we get a bit glammed up just to cook dinner, just to have dinner. We're not leaving the place. And um, I thought it'd be just like a perfect thing, but actually it's really uncomfortable. So I don't wanna be sort of, having a night in with something so uncomfortable so back to the drawing board excuse the mess but this is potential so we got this skirt which oh don't know if you're going to be able to see me properly at all it's so dark um yeah it's got a bit of a slit Ooh, uh, it's got um sparkles all over it and it's comfortable and just a plain black tee just to like dress it down a little bit don't want to be too overdressed because it's just a night in but dress up night in um and I don't know, I feel like it's quite easy to wear. What do we think? Is this an option? I've just changed into something more comfortable because those jeans I've worn jeans for a long time and they are quite tight. It's dinner time now. I look like a ghost because the time is late and I have been running around all day. It's been a busy day actually. But we're gonna have this one tonight as a family because we've got clubs and stuff later for the children. So nice and quick, family 25 minute one and they love noodles so yeah gonna make that one up i'm probably gonna say bye now just because there's a lot going on in the kitchen it's very noisy with the fan going and cooking everything but don't forget if you would like to get your 60 percent off your first box and 25 percent off your next two months and free gifts then the link is on the in the description bar and use this qr code if you're watching on a laptop or a computer or anything and you'll be able to go get your discount there. So thank you so much for watching, guys. It's jam-packed. I feel like we've done so much today. But thanks for being here, and I'll see you so soon. Take care. Bye.